Hi, Sasha. How are you? Good. Um, my name is Sasha, and I'm 10, almost 11. I've known Sasha now for almost four years. She was born with something called spina bifida. I and mean, you can see here in the model, this is a bend forward in her spine. And in Sasha's case, it is impacting her daily life. So this is a 3D model of your spine. And I'll sort of take you through it. What? So 3D printing in the medical community is really helpful in Sasha's case, where uh, it's really a, a broad multidisciplinary team involved. It is very helpful to see that deformity in a 3D model so that one, we can visualize it and two, we can then uh, come up with our operative plan based on the 3D model. The 3D printing center at Washington University Medical Campus opened March of last year, 2018. It serves uh, all 15 BJC hospitals and we also receive requests from students and professors at Washington University. 3D printers have actually been around since the early 1980s. It's only recently that we've been able to have 3D printers for medical applications. Here on this campus, we use it primarily for patient care and the pre-operational planning and post-operative assessment of a patient's treatment. Both the patient and the family can see. They can see how the deformity looks in a, in a 3D setting and they're able to actually visualize the deformity to understand why and how we're going to treat it. I think it was really um, cool and I really liked how it showed a lot of detail on, on how um, the doctors are going to be able to help me um, when I have my surgery. I think I'll be able to swim more easier and I'll be able to do dance a little more better and I'm not gonna be like tired in like five seconds. Having 3D printing available on our medical campus and within the hospital network is really crucial to treating our complex patients, especially those that require multidisciplinary care. So it's really a great resource here.